hey guys, this is Aramis Prime with a new special video for you guys. And this video is about BotCon. Well, actually, it's more about the BotCon exclusive set, which I have already talked about two of the figures from, I believe, in CyberTalk. I talked about Tripedicus Agent Ravage and uh, Tarantulas. So. In this episode, well, not episode of CyberTalk, it's a special video. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to talk about the set as a whole, since all five figures have been released. Not released, but pictures have been released of them. The first is Ravage, and I already talked about him, so I'm not going to talk about him in great detail, but I like it. I mean, it's a breakdown repaint, so the bot mode's a little eh, proportional-wise, but... I think Ravage does kind of make it work. I, it's not it's not bad by any means of my standards. Transmetal Tarantulas. I really like this. Um, originally, I was unsure on how they were going to get this his colors to work for the rest of the combiner, but I actually I looked into it some more, and I'm pretty sure I see how it's gonna work. Uh, Cause he has the black, the bright green, the bright orange, and then purple. He also has some red in there you know, on his wheels, but I know how the green and the orange are going to work out, at least. And the black obviously goes with Ravage, but the orange and green are actually on some of the other three figures, which, so, we already talked about Ravage, and we talked about Tarantulas. Tarantulas, I really like the Rook mold. I think this is a great use of it. So I really like this one. So out of the three figures we have left, they are all the Tripredicus Council, which is one of my favorite scenes from Beast Wars, so I'm actually really, really happy to see them and be in show accurate colors. So, the first one is Predacon General Ramhorn. This one's interesting because it's um, a repaint with a new head of the Brawl Mold, but also with the remolded vehicle mode with a drill. Yeah. What could either be a future release of Nose Cone or a scrapped design for Nose Cone that they just used for this since they're going to actually make Nose Cone. They might make it, they might not. <clears throat> either way, that's not the point of this video. This video is to talk about the set by itself. So, I actually really like General Ramporn. He's probably my favorite out of the Tripredicus Council, like just from the show. And I'd have to say that he's probably my favorite figure out of the three, but I'm not sure. Um, you'll see that the little cockpit part of the vehicle mode, the nose, the drill, I was going to say nose cone, the, the drill part, the like cockpit near it, <clears throat> that the windows are green, and they're the same bright green that is on Tarantulas. So, I can see how they're trying to work in the colors, so that way... It's all throughout the combiner, so nothing's sorely sticking out. And he also has a little bit of orange on his crotch. And I'm pretty sure that's the same shade of orange that Tarantulas has. So, that's cool. I'm just glad that they're actually keeping the color scheme throughout. Next, we have Predacon General CicadaCon, which is actually misspelled in the picture that they released. But that's okay, I don't really care about that. I know who it is. Now... This one does not have a new head, and the reason it does not have a new head is because, one, they probably could have, like, they could have made a more accurate show head, but this is uh, good enough for me. It, well, eh. It's not perfect, but it is definitely good enough that I know who it's supposed to be. Um, and so that way the combiner, the Predicus, can have its own head sculpt, which I do like. Um, Overall, I'd have to say the paint apps look good. There's lots of silver and lots of red, and a lot of people don't like the red. I personally do like the red so far. Who knows? But all the silver looks great. Now, the vehicle mode has a little bit of orange near the cockpit, and that orange is definitely the same as Tarantulas. Um, there's also some more black worked in there, and there is it, the wings are all painted, supposed to be like bug wings, so like a cicada. So I think that's a nice touch that his wings are like bug wings. So <laughs> I just I think that's a really cool touch that they added in. I really like that. And then lastly, we have Predacon General C Clamp. Now C Clamp's the only one that I'm not 
too fond of, and it's not because of the head sculpt or anything. The head sculpt, it, now, it's not that good of a mock-up, because this is the real figure. It's a digital mock-up. The mock-up's not that great. But, I do think that the head sculpt looks like it will be good, especially for the character. Like, it, it's show accurate, is how I'll put it. The colors look just fine to me. You know, lots of red, silver, and some black. Um, he is the silver bolt mold, but out of the two, well, actually three variations of it, the silver bolt, cyclonus, and then scattershot, he is using the scattershot version of the mold. Um, so, he, I actually really like how he looks, it's just the fact that he's a little too big for me. Uh, he's a Voyager class, because he has to be the torso of the combiner, but I don't like that he's going to be significantly bigger than the other two Tripredicus Council members. It's just really weird to me. Um, but I'll talk about the vehicle mode. The vehicle mode has a little bit of orange on that cockpit, so that way you can see they are still trying to get Tarantulas' colors throughout the combiner, throughout the team, so that way that it doesn't look so weird on the combiner. Um, I actually have to say, I really like that they use the scattershot version of this mold. Um, it doesn't scream lobster to me, which is what he was, which is what C-Clamp's alt mode was, but this is free Beast Wars. Um, but I, I actually just, I think it works. I think it looks like it could be the Cybertronian mode before he was a lobster. I don't know. But it, it just works for me. I think it looks nice. My only complaint is that he's going to be bigger than the other Tripredicus Council members. And that's a little weird to me, but it's it's not the worst thing by any means. Now, as of this recording, there are no pictures of the combined mode, which I am really excited to see. I want to see these guys put together. It, it might look weird when they show it off, but I'm 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 pretty confident that it's gonna look good. I think it will. As for the head sculpt of the combiner, since they gave General Cicada Con, they he has no new head sculpt, so that way the combiner could have a new head sculpt. It could be some Beast Wars character, or it could be the Predacon symbol. They could actually mold that into a head sculpt. I would like that. Some people were talking about how that'd be weird. I personally think that'd be really cool and very appropriate for the characters, seeing as how they're the Tripredicus Council. I think that'd be pretty nice. But, um, that's pretty much all I have to say about that box set. I'm really looking forward to it. I really like how it's looking. I just have a few minor nitpicks about pretty much C-Clamp, and then the fact that uh, Cicadacon doesn't have a new head sculpt is a little bit of a bummer, but it works. Um, so that's pretty much it for that. And then I would also like to apologize for there not being cyber talk. I think it's the past two weeks now. Um, I'm really sorry about that. It's because I'm really, really, I've been really busy the past couple weeks. And this is, I have one more week and then I will be free, free at last. So I can get way more content out, which is exactly what I want to do. I've been dying to put out more content. I just literally have not had time at all and it's been really hard. So I can't wait to put out more stuff for you guys to see. I'm probably going to do, I'm going to do way more Transformers stuff. And I'm probably going to be doing more, um, Star Wars stuff as well. Sitting, since that movie's coming up and man, am I excited. I actually got the six inch Black Series Special Forces TIE Fighter and whew, that thing looks good. Also, in case you guys were, um, wondering about, I know in CyberTalk the last episode I talked about masterpiece figures and how either Trax or the blue version of Blue Streak was going to be my first master masterpiece purchase from that line and I'm proud to announce that I got the Blue Streak and that I will probably be doing a video review of that sometime soon. I have yet to receive it but I know I it is paid for and it is I almost have it in my hands. It should be here in the like next day or so. So I can't wait to do a video review of that Hopefully somewhat soon. If it's not this week, it will definitely be out by next week. Um, because I, I might have time this week, but I'm not certain yet. We'll see. But either way, after that, I should be doing more Masterpiece figure reviews because I'm going to be getting into the la that line more. And I cannot wait to be doing more content. And I am extremely sorry and apologize for there being less content in the past couple weeks. That is completely on me, and I'm not trying to come up with excuses. Um, I'm very sorry about it, and I cannot wait to put out more. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, this has been Nerdy Geek Talk, and...
Thank you for watching. Aramis Prime out.